repeating the main aspects. This chapter explains in detail the so-called application layers of the ISO-OSI model, whose task it is to prepare data for transmission. You specify which protocol is used, that is, how the data should be interpreted. They are therefore also known as interpretation layers. Consider the following situation. A man would like to surprise the one he loves and send her some small gifts. Expressed plainly, the man assumes that the girl will be extremely pleased with the present itself and will also interpret the intention that lay behind it correctly. Mapped onto the ISO-OSI model, we are referring to the application layer here, which contains basic services and protocols such as FTP file transfer or email services. In the next step, the present is packed into an easily transportable format by the man. This is important for shipping, because the transport route and the transport time can be estimated better when the characteristic values, such as number, size, weight and form, are known quantities. A uniform format is essential for efficient transport. In the ISO-OSI model, this corresponds to the presentation layer. The focus here is on independence from the format of the data to be sent. The data is converted into a uniform intermediate format for sending. This enables a correct interpretation by the computers participating in the connection. On receipt, the intermediate format is converted back to the computer-specific format. After the man has informed his girlfriend that a parcel is on its way to her and ensured that she will accept the parcel, he takes it to the post office. Here, it is then prepared for transport. The parcel is weighed to determine the price category, for example. These processes are defined in the ISO-OSI model in the session layer. It organizes dialogue between the communicating partners, ensures setup, maintenance and termination of the connection, as well as synchronization of the data stream between application processes. The first three process steps in sending packets, corresponding to the layers of the ISO-OSI model, are application-oriented. The packets to be sent are assigned to the correct protocol and packed in a uniform format ready for transport. This ensures that they are correctly interpreted by the communication partner. When sending presents through the mail, we have a number of options with regard to format. Parcels, of course, can vary in size. This is important to you in terms of the shipping cost and the cost can also be affected by the weight of the parcel. You can also select smaller formats, such as large letters, standard letters, or postcards. You use the format appropriate to the item that you want to send. A present will not fit on a postcard, and a holiday greeting would not be sent in a parcel. In the ISO-OSI model, services lie behind the formats. These ser You use the format appropriate to the item that you want to send. A present will not fit on a postcard, and a holiday greeting would not be sent in a parcel. In the ISO-OSI model, services lie behind the formats. These services match the data packets to the applications. The application specifies the service it has used in the data packet. This is how the receiving end knows which service was used, enabling the packet to then be correctly interpreted. The service is identified in the packet by means of so-called ports, which are part of the network address. Without ports, emails, for example, would never arrive at the correct destination or be assigned to the correct program. They would be interpreted wrongly or displayed incorrectly, as if the present was not delivered to the girlfriend, but to her best friend instead. A distinction is made between standardized and registered ports. Standardized ports are permanently defined and assigned to specific services. Registered ports are pre-selected but can be reserved by users with any service. The diagram shows a selection of ports and their assignment to the corresponding services. In the third group, there are the dynamic ports to which no special services are assigned. The services and ports can be found in the application-oriented layers of the ISO-OSI model. The top layer is responsible for access to all network resources. It contains services, for example, for FTP or email. The data is transferred to the presentation layer below by means of the appropriate ports. In the presentation layer, 
The data must be converted to a generalized format because computer systems use different coding. The session layer organizes the dialogue between the communicating partners. It ensures setup and maintaining of the link during data transmission as well as connection termination. It also synchronizes the data stream between application processes. What substantive points should you have learned in this chapter? Spend a little time on repeating the main aspects. In chapter 3 you will find out more